the NBA on 2K Sports welcomes you to Wednesday Afternoon Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Stan Van Gundy and Greg Anthony. On the sidelines, it's David Aldridge. Let's check out Pittsburgh's starting lineup. Williams out there with Stoudemire. And it's Mark Gasol. Then there's Jason Tatum. And it's Miller in at the three. And for the Pacers, Halliburton in the backcourt. Nemhard to his side. Siakam is the four, and he'll be next to Turner at the five. And it's Matherin in at the three side. Now here's Tatum. That one's in his first shot this game. Using his teammates, Tatum creates just enough daylight to get off a shot. Siakam sets a screen for Halliburton. Pass to Turner. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Miller surveying the floor. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here are the Pacers now. Here's Halliburton. Drops it in from 11 feet. The thing about Halliburton's range is it's flexible. He can take a good shot from anywhere. Greg, in January 2024, Pascal Siakam was traded out of Toronto. And he came into the league an older player from a mid-major school. The Raptors did a lot to help Siakam, turning him into an all-NBA caliber player. Halliburton finds Matherin. Here's Turner. He doesn't hit that one. Stoudemire outside. Knocks it loose. Turner with the steal. Oh, and here comes Matherin all alone. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And strong off the bounce. Matherin will keep coming. He, he, this kid is willing to challenge you. Free throw good, Matherin. Matherin hits them both. And so just over a minute and a half played. Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. I love the selflessness. Tatum willing to give it up whenever he sees an open teammate. Here's Halliburton. Lays it up off the glass. Halliburton's got his second basket of the game. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Yeah, well, his offensive contributions are going to be very important in this game. So it's good they've already got him in a rhythm. Outside, Matherin. Poked away. In transition, here comes Pittsburgh. Miller, the pass to Gasol. Stoudemire outside. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for Indiana. Trailing by four. Cans it from downtown. Halliburton's got seven points in the game. Saw, saw the defender closing, and Halliburton got it away in a hurry. Here's Stoudemire. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Three points. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. And Rick Carlisle decides to call timeout. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. Aaron Neesmith has checked in for Benedict Matherin. Pittsburgh is also changing it up. Jackson, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And it's Carter in for Mike Miller. Now, here's Siaka. Jason Miller. First personal foul. Second team foul. One fifty-three left in the first quarter of the game. Pocket six. Here's Halliburton. No one near Turner as he lets it go. And the three off target. Pittsburgh leading by four. Here's Stoudemire. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Eight points for him. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Once he gets in deep on the defense, there is no way he's missing a layup like that. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Pittsburgh. 
Well, the coaching staff's game plan is very clear. Move the ball on the perimeter and shoot the shots with no hesitation. And also, guys, they're playing for one another right now. All those extra passes are leading to easy buckets. Pitching up on the changes now for Indiana. Toppin comes in for Turner. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Andrew Nemar. Pittsburgh shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. He misses the free throw. And some changes here for the Pacers. Jackson, he's checked in for Toppin. And Shepard subbed in for Halbert. That's a rarity for him, not being able to cash in on the trip to the line. Now, here's McConnell. To the middle. Siakam against Jackson. Pass to McConnell. Here's Shepard. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Pittsburgh leading by five. Williams finds Stoudemire. Jackson setting the pick here for Stoudemire. And stolen by Siakam. To the inside, over Jackson. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Here's Pittsburgh with the ball. Stoudemire attacking. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. Yeah, you're seeing their offense in a flow. Now it's time for their defense to turn up the heat a little more. Now, here's McConnell. No scoring in this one. Jackson, a screen on Stoudemire. And Gasol sends it back. And here comes Jackson, leading the fast break. Williams from outside. Rebounded by Jackson. From deep, three-point territory. No good on the last second attempt there. And it's Pittsburgh heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And guys, when you consider how Pittsburgh is doing, uh, your thoughts? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, and that's helped them get the lead. But we'll have to see if they can sustain this offensive output. We'll be topping out there with Benedict Matherin. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And there's Jackson. And it's McConnell in at the one stop. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Here's Morant following the score by Indiana. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Greg, with how explosive John Moran is, he has certainly taken his fair share of awkward falls. And that's what worries you with guys like that. He's already had a number of injuries in his young career, but we all just want to see him at full health. Miller's checked in for Vince Carter. Now here's Jackson. Scoreless thus far. Over Jackson. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Morant outside. They find Jay on the way. Toppin pulls it in. Indiana trails by seven. And he bangs it home with one hand. And one of the better athletes in his draft class, Matherin, with quick lift off the floor and then the power to hammer it home. Now, here's Brown, and they pick up two. Brown's got the lead up to seven now for Pittsburgh. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Jackson trying to break free. The shot's good from Halliburton. Halliburton's got ten points in the game. For a skinny guy, Halliburton has a lot of confidence inside. In fact, he's confident in everything he does. Now here's Moran. Inside, Tatum! Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And Halliburton's got the ball here for Indiana. Seven-point differential. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Jackson. Miller, that's for two. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. 
Miller's got his second bucket. And how fluid is Miller on those catch and shoot opportunities? Time out, time immediately out. rising up there once the ball touches Guarding. his hands. And Rick Carlisle decides to call timeout. He's ready to talk things through with the team. And some changes here for the Pacers. Miles Turner comes in for Jackson. And Aaron E. Smith subbed in for Benedict Matherin. Stoudemire, he's checked in for Pittsburgh. Williams comes in for John Morant. Now, here's Neesmith. Nothing on the board. Halliburton for three. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. And once Halliburton hits his stride, there's just very little you can do defensively, proving how dominant he can be. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got 13. Indiana moving it around. Releases. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. It's Miller on the way. Launches it. Toppin pulls it in. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Halliburton. That one wide left. Yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. That's not a bad shot at all. It just didn't go in. Sometimes the process is right, and you still get a bad result. Now, here's Halliburton. That doesn't go either for Halliburton. Stoudemire against Halliburton. On the wing, Jackson. Outside, Williams. Back to Jackson. Pass to Miller. Rolls it up. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Miller's got seven points for the quarter. Indiana trails by 11. Here's Halliburton. And he lays it straight in. Yeah, he's not short on moves. Halliburton's got a lot of ways to attack off the dribble. Here's Tatum. Tatum slips by the contact inside. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Yeah, come on. They're just having their way out there and continuing to press the advantage. Oh, the balance and focus. Halliburton able to power through contact and convert. And some changes here for the Pacers. Siakam is checked in for Toppin. And Nick Mathering comes in for Aaron Neesmith. And Andrew Nemhards subbed in for T.J. McConnell. Gasol's checked in for Pittsburgh. Williams rejected by Halliburton. And here we go. Fast break. Halliburton's got it. Siakam misses. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. Yeah, quality offense will serve you well in the long run. You can't settle for bad shots. Halliburton up top. He's guarded by Williams. Takes the three. And it's Halliburton missing. Miller outside. Here's Tatum. That one, no good. And it's Pittsburgh holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We'll return shortly. The big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Tyrese Halliburton has been sensational. 
His play so far is what fans love about him. He has gone right at the defense time and time again. Yeah, he hasn't been settling. He's getting to the rim, and that's him at his best. And Pittsburgh, looking at who they've got out there. Marcus Saul is out there with Tatum. And it's Williams. Then it's Mike Miller. And it's Stoudemire in at the two. Now, here is Siakam. Still scoreless. Catherine passes to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Williams. Pass to Turner. The tray. Stoudemire grabs the miss. Pittsburgh leading by 11. Now Gasol, Turner covering. And there's Gasol. That's good on the assist by Stoudemire. Gasol's got the first basket of the third quarter for Pittsburgh. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Jump ball call. Outside Tatum. And here's Miller outside. Pacers with the rebound. Siakam's got four rebounds in this game. Inside. Here's Matherin. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. That's now eight points here for Benedict Matherin. And here's Miller outside. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Well, those go down for him timeout, in his timeout. sleep. And so it's Rick Carlisle here calling timeouts. And Coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. Indiana moving it around. Siakam outside. Pass to Matherin. Bounce pass Nemhard. Five to shoot. Turner passes to Nemhard. That three off the mark. Pittsburgh leading by 14. From past the arc, Miller no luck. Here's Matherin. That shot is off. Good D by Miller. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for Pittsburgh. Stoudemire wide open. Drills the three-pointer. Stoudemire's got 13. And Stoudemire has that silky smooth jumper. Gets it off so quickly. Pass to Turner. And it's slammed in by Turner. Strong move to the 10. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Well, that's exactly what's needed when you're trying to turn things around. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here since halftime, and he continues yet to fire away. He has got to tone it down if he wants to help his team. Now, here's Siakam. Still without a basket. Pass to Matherin. Siakam with it, guarded by Tatum. Turner for three, and the three ball is good. Love seeing this. Turner just rising and firing with no hesitation. Have to respect the confidence he's playing with. Shots good by Miller. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. And Mike Miller gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Neesmith, he's checked in for the Pacers. T.J. McConnell comes in for Halliburton. And Pittsburgh also making a switch. Jackson's checked in. McConnell kicks to Turner. Matherin passes to Neesmith. Here's McConnell. Off target with his three. Pittsburgh leading by 15. Over in the corner, Williams. Back to Jackson. McConnell against Williams. Crops in the layup for two. Williams has got his second basket. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. McConnell passes to Siakam. And the Pacers can't get it to go. 
Stoudemire against Matherin. Stoudemire inside. Does not score for only the second time in seven shots this game. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Pacers have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Pacers. Jackson, he's checked in for Turner. Toppin comes in for Pascal Siakam. Halliburton subbed in for Benedict Matherin. Pittsburgh is also changing it up. Miller's checked in for Gasol. Jalen Brown comes in for Sotomayor. And it's John Morant in for Williams. Indiana trails by 18. Halliburton for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Halliburton's got 21. Well, he can beat you in a lot of ways. Very challenging to defend. And it's Pittsburgh. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. Right back after this break. Let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Yeah, it's pretty to watch. It's great to have so many big men in the NBA who can dish it like this. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. So we get going in quarter number four. We got T.J. McConnell. Neesmith is out there with Toppin. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Jackson in at the center position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. Yeah, but you can't let up now. We've seen too many wild comebacks in this league. That one goes in. Well, you guys know I love analytics, but I still like the mid-range, especially when he's taking the shot. There's Miller with the three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Halliburton outside. A three. That shot off the mark. Pittsburgh leading by 15. And Stoudemire, the bucket on the assist by Brown. And that's 17 points for Stoudemire. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Stoudemire against McConnell. Down low. Sweet move. And the basket by Jackson. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. To the paint. Here's Miller. And Miller throws it down hard. Stoudemire, a, a talented passer, excellent at finding ways to get his guys going. And Rick Carlisle decides to call timeout. He's clearly intent on wanting to lock in and make sure everyone's on the same page. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. A shot by McConnell, no good. Pittsburgh leading by 17. Gasol passes to Stoudemire. With the drive, gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just 10 shots. And using his unique perspective on the floor, Gasol spots the open man. Halliburton outside, and it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touch by Brown. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Turner's checked in for Isaiah Jackson. Pascal Siakam comes in for Toppin. Benedict Matherin, he's checked in for Neesmith. And Andrew Nemhards subbed in for T.J. McConnell. Pittsburgh is also changing it up. Tatum comes in for Jackson. And it's Williams in for Brown. Hits it from three-point range. And the mid-range jumper is such an important shot for Turner. Rounds out his game and lets him do even more damage inside. 
Now here is Miller. Gasol a screen on Matherin. Miller with a wide open look. Here's Gasol. Pacers with the rebound. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And Mike Miller gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. There's Siakam. Pass to Turner. Back to Siakam. Matherin finds Nemhard. Shot clock at six. An easy two points on the layup. The coach loves seeing chances from that range. Work that inside area. Outside Tatum. There's Miller with the three. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got three assists now in this one. Halliburton inside the three-point line. And the Pacers tack on two more. Quick thinking by Halliburton, sensing the separation immediately and pulling up. For your Breakers dance Give him a hand, fans. 153 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Williams. Got it. Good job in the low post. And Pittsburgh leads by 17. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. Yeah, and at this point in the game, just protect the ball, make smart decisions, don't give them a chance to get back in the game. Now, here's Halliburton driving to the basket. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Pittsburgh leading by 17. Williams with the ball. Matherin picks him up. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And that is the kind of big-time shot that can really deflate a crowd. And did he ever do that? Sound level right now, zero in this arena. So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. So Pittsburgh going with almost an entire new group here. Doncic is checked in for Gasol. Jackson comes in for Jason Tatum. Carter, he's checked in for Miller. And it's Brown in for Stoudemire. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's McConnell. Here's Jackson. Rebound by Williams. And Pittsburgh with the possession here. Doncic finds Carter. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. And you got to respect Luka's passing skills. Uh, just a multi-talented player who is all about sharing the basketball. Now, here's McConnell. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Jackson. Six to shoot. Shoots over Doncic. And he can't bank that one in. Here's Williams. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Yeah, this run has poured a bucket of water on any ember of a potential comeback. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution on the 16 board. seconds left in the fourth quarter. McConnell against Morant. And here's McConnell. So it's Pittsburgh picking up the win. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. For Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlow. Thanks for being with us tonight on 2K Sports. And now, our player of the game, Mike Miller.